All right, so it looks like I'm finally gonna be able to go fishing tomorrow. So, I had to make a little uh, pit stop today at one of my favorite stores, you will see. I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times, I love gigs. I've lived in LA all this time. And I had no idea there was a Dix. This is awesome. A little A rig, that's cool. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. Found all the stuff I'm looking for. I'll go through them uh, individually when I get home. just got back from Dick's I uh, just want to shoot a little quick something to show you what I got so in addition to those other things that I got a few things I want to try swim baits and stuff um, from my last visit to Walmart got some new stuff for spring got a new box for some lures I don't like the big cumbersome boxes so I'm just gonna carry a few of these with me I uh, finally got a digital scale, which I will need to prove all the haters wrong. Got another uh, bag of robo worms, just a different color. It's a ox blood red flake. Um, I got me some new fluorocarbon, eight pound fluorocarbon vanish to go with my new rod and reel. Um, I've only had one other bait caster, and I wasn't really into it, but I'd like to get back into it. So I got a nice little uh, Abu Garcia Black Max very inexpensive um, so it's a like a six foot six reel I mean rod um, so I'm gonna give it a shot see how it is just to get the extra casting that I need at Castaic uh, that's pretty much why I got it um, then I got me some uh, wacky head jig heads and then I got a few crankbaits I've never had luck with the crankbaits but I'd figure I would give them a, sh a real good shot this year uh, for spring and fall fishing and obviously any other time of the year. So I got the 1.5 KVD which I hear is the best to have. Got a different color, the 5XD which is a deep diver which I think I'll need now while the fish are deep. And then another deep diver in a just different color, the natural shad color which is probably what's going to be best at Castaic. Uh, so yeah, this is my new little uh, get up for some new stuff for spring. I am excited and in a couple weeks it is gonna turn on at Castaic, I have a feeling. So I hope I got all the stuff that I need. Alright, see you soon. I'm gonna show you what I got from Dick's here. So luckily I didn't have to go to Rancho Cucamonga and go to that Bass Pro Shops because it's a long distance away. Uh, this Dick's is right down the road. Uh, so. I'm dying to go fishing and spring is so close that I can just taste it so I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow um, so what I got here is different color robo worm just a lighter presentation for that clear water of Castaic I also got basically another color another clear color because of the light water but also a different sort of shade it's a fat worm. Don't know how different it's gonna be, but I wanna try some different colors. Uh, and then I've been wanting to get the old Ned Rig set up and try it for some finesse fishing. So I got a couple of the R uh, TRD worms. This one and uh, this one is supposed to be good. And these colors seem to be what is effective at Castaic uh, as far as other um, worm patterns and stuff like that. So I'm going to try these out with the old uh, Ned Rig weight, which is the finesse shroom head. So this is specifically for the Ned Rig. I've been dying to try it out because it's a, it's a very effective um, finesse technique from what I see. Uh, especially at a place like Castaic where it's heavily pressured, the water is very clear, um, etc. So I also got me some of these Kitech uh, Swing Impact 3.5 three inch worms in electric shad, also known to be pretty effective at some of these lakes over here, especially uh, Castaic. So I'm going to try those and uh, 
I'm gonna go tomorrow and see if I cannot catch some spring bass. Hopefully they're starting to uh, move up into the shallows. Uh, so, all right, I will see you tomorrow after the fishing.